Hail Replay is our radar imagery playback tool that helps you visualize hail volume. This video will show you how to get started using Hail Replay with your iOS device. Sorry, Hail Replay isn't available for Android, but you can use it with any browser. So let's get started. The first thing you should do is position the hail swath you'd like to analyze in the center of your screen. Next, go down and tap the orange icon on the bottom right, and then tap Hail Replay. After you tap Hail Replay, you'll see some radar location options at the bottom of your screen. It's usually best to select the closest radar. Here, this radar, KICT, is only 56.5 miles from the center of my screen. I'll go ahead and select it to load the radar imagery. After the radar images are loaded, you'll see some controls at the bottom of the map and a red and purple graph that we refer to as the timeline. Each bar on the timeline is an individual radar frame. You can tap on any bar to see the radar imagery for that frame. At the top of the map, you'll see the exact time for each radar frame. At the bottom of the map, you have the play button and the scroll buttons. Use the play button to scroll frame by frame non-stop through the timeline. Use the scroll buttons to move through the radar frames one at a time. Now I'm going to quickly move to the radar frame at 10.48 p.m. Let's take a closer look at this frame. Hail Replay is a volume indicator. It shows you which parts of the storm are hailing a little and which parts are hailing a lot. So looking at this image, the purple and white areas are the spots where it's hailing the most. So going to the next radar frame at 10.51 p.m., you'll notice that the hail in this frame is even more intense. So when scouting for the best spots to check first, a good practice is to mark this location by holding your finger down on the map for one second to drop a marker. Now when viewing the map, all you need to do is tap on the marker to open it up and then tap on the menu option on the upper right. From here, tap on driving directions to marker to get turn-by-turn -turn directions from your current location to that marker. Okay, now let's go back and take a look at a few radar examples so we can better visualize how you can use hail replay to pinpoint hail better than using just the hail swath. In this example, you can see that there's a very large area where we believe it's hailing half inch, but with Hail Replay, you can narrow it down much more precisely. These are the spots to check out first because they have the most hail volume. Moving on to the next radar frame, you can see that the hail volume has dropped off and is very scattered. Looking at the next frame, at 249, the hail is also scattered. But looking at 252, the storm gets a little more intense. When using Hail Replay to analyze radar, this is how you should do it. Go frame by frame, dropping markers in the areas with the most hail volume, and then use Hail Recon to get turn by turn directions to those markers. I hope this video helps you with Hail Replay on your iOS device. Remember to please give us a call if you need assistance, and we will walk you through the process.